G'day guys, welcome to Primal Waters. Today we're going to have a look at this news article about the Megalodon shark called Monster Shark Kept Whales in Check. Now this is an old article going back from 2014 but we're going to check it out any, anyway. So if you're interested I'll put the link for this in the description bar down below so you can click on it and have a read for yourself. I'm not going to read the whole story, I'll read uh, up to certain points. But this is still uh, pretty cool anyway um, to uh, uh, read about Megalodon shark. So this is from uh, Paul Rincon, Rincon, I think that's how you say it. And uh, the extinction, of the the extinction of the biggest shark known to science may have triggered whales to grow to their current hefty size. A study suggests Megalodons, an ancient four to eighteen meter long predator that resembled resembled a supersized great white, may have preyed on primitive baleen whales. These whales were typically smaller than their counterparts today. In their paper, the research produced what they say is the best estimate yet for the date of Megalodon's extinction. This date of 2.6 million years ago falls on the border between the Pliocene and the Pleistocene epochs, and it was after this point that baleen whales began to grow to their gigantic size. Marine mammals are thought to have considered constitute an important part of the 50 ton shark's diet though there is no conclusive evidence they fed on baleen whales their fossils are often found along with megalodons megalodons teeth if they were on the shark's menu then the removal of this lorry sized predator might have allowed them to flourish the baleen whales filter their tiny animals out of the water through their comb like comb-like structures in their mouth. The group includes the biggest animal alive today, the blue whale, which can grow to more than 30 metres in length. Co-author Kathleen Pimento from the Florida Museum of Natural History in Gainesville, US, said that this was a first step to first step in ongoing research to understand the disappearance of the megalodon. Regarding the evolution of the giant size in whales, she told BBC News, we are not sure how the mechanisms work. We, when we found out when that happened, we noticed in uh, conceded with the pattern, with the pattern mentioned in whales. Now we need to find out one event, megalodon's extinction caused the other, evolution or gigantism in whales. So what they're saying is that... Uh, for the megalodon who preyed on these whales to become extinct may have given risen um, to the uh, the whales to uh, evolve into uh, the bigger whales we see today. So now if the megalodon didn't go extinct, then we might not have the whales we have today. So I think that's how you get it from that um, part of the article. Uh, but she added, from modern sharks, it is known that larger individuals have a broader range of prey size, including larger prey. That means that the larger prey will be uh, predated mostly by larger sharks. Megalodon fossils are widely spread across the world. Examples have been found in Europe, Africa, and both North and South America. It was formulated a form formidable predator. Scientists estimate that it could have a bite down... Um, that it could bite down with a force of between 10.8 to 18.2 tonnes. The largest teeth can measure about 17 centimetres. Got some pictures here. Uh, most megalodon fossils date from the middle of Miocene, which is 15.9 to 11.6 million years ago, to the Pliocene, 5.3 to 2.6 million years ago. But there are, there had been some unconfirmed reports of fossils from the Pleistocene. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, 2.6 million years, years ago to 10,000 years ago. So it could be even possible that the uh, megalodon could have existed uh, all the way up to 10,000 years ago, which is uh, uh, pretty cool. Another interesting thing as well is that, uh, oh, where did I read it to, that grey white sharks existed at the same time as megalodon sharks. It's just that they, uh, I don't think they would have came across each other um, megalodons were in more of the tropical warmer waters where great whites we know are in the cooler parts uh, of the ocean so it's it's fascinating to know that at one stage both these species of sharks existed at the same time and today we have sh great white sharks swimming around in our oceans and all that so you know sometimes I really um, I sit down and I think how cool would it be if we we had a, a time machine and you could go back in time uh, and 
just the experience, uh, the planet back then when there was no no cities, no cars, no planes, no ships. It'd just be really fascinating. It'd be so cool to be able to experience something like that, and and to see these creatures um, in the ocean. The ocean would be just full of um, animals. Be so cool to see. So. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the, the uh, story for this. Uh, Monster shark kept whales in check. Meg- Megalodon shark, okay, Heracles Megalodon. Uh, I know it's Shark Week at the, nom- uh, at the moment. We don't get Shark Week here in Australia, so um, it's great to use guys. have uh, got a lot of shark content on TV to watch. Uh, let me know if they've got any Megalodon stories there. Uh, they're talking about uh, during this shark week and stuff so all right guys that's it for this video thank you for tuning in drop a comment down below hit that like button share this video and if you're new to the channel please subscribe thank you and i'll see you in the next video